Hello everyone and welcome back to our enemy trench playthrough. We are halfway through chapter 3. After seeing some new level layouts with the villages that were very cool. I'm excited to try and push to the end of chapter 3 and I really want to get my hands on that flamethrower that was alluded to because that sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Um, so let's get started right where we left off. See how the session goes. Uh, we just entered a trench. What do I have equipped here? I have the Carba 98. Got a lot of grenades, throwing knives, not a ton of rocks. Whoops, I just double moved. I think that is one of my. <laughs> Tone tailored uh, feature request would be a some kind of input delay or message stop option for when a new enemy uh, appears. That's a pretty common thing in a lot of roguelikes, uh, like NetHack or DCSS. Um, so something like that would save me a lot of trouble. Um, I bet you others would appreciate that as well. Um, but that's something that I, I like to have in a lot of roguelikes like this one. Um, and it would definitely save me for myself in a lot of uh, situations that I've run into in this game. Uh, and the reason that a feature like that, to just go on a little tangent, is good in these roguelike games because like one of like the just facts of a traditional roguelike game, just based on how the gameplay works and stuff, is that you'll have these stretches where you're basically just moving and you're not having to slow down and like spend time to think between every action. You're just moving down a corridor or something. And you wanna do that quickly. It's like a pacing thing. But if you do that too fast and you don't have like a reaction time to react when a situation does come up. So that's where the input delay or the, it's like a message stomp is what it's called in a lot of games where you have to, when an enemy appears on screen, it it blocks all your input until you hit like a, a different button. Um, so it, it works really well for these games because there are times where you can very quickly go from, I can do whatever I want and just goof about and like run around and hold down keys to, oh shoot, every turn matters. Especially in something like DCSS where like one enemy shows on screen and you could die next turn if you don't uh, use your like your next move very carefully. But yeah, that would save me a lot. Um, what is the the B here? Is that something new? The Bruiser. Oh, I wonder if this is a melee guy. Maybe they have the flamethrower. I don't know. I'm so curious. Um, I am going to use a grenade here. Cool. We panicked the heavy. Uh, wait, the Rifleman did not die. Is that another time, moment where they... Oh, the Rifleman were getting one shot by grenades before. I think they got a health upgrade or something. Well, let's just throw another grenade. Um, that time it missed the Rifleman, and I think I... Put it on the same tile. So what I was noticing last time, I, I believe it is just that grenades aren't guaranteed to hit. It says the bruiser is hit by the explosion twice here, which I believe means a bruiser is off screen. And no, I did not hit this rifleman. There's another rifleman off screen that I hit because it says the rifleman is dead. And this one is clearly not dead. So this one was uh, getting missed there. That's interesting. Where was I placing that? I need to... Is I putting it here? Maybe that outside edge doesn't get hit. I don't know. I got to pay more attention to that. Let's take out the rifleman. Take out this bruiser. It sounds like there might be another bruiser around the corner. Whoa! This is a loaded starting level. Fortunately, I spawned a few tiles to the right. 
and not with all of this. Imagine if I spawned like in between all those packs. Uh, this looks like another great grenade situation. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I just cleared some guys out. Uh, we get to level up. Okay, all of my, what I guess I'll call core stats are at 10. Strength is kind of a stat we don't use a whole lot. Interesting here, it says plus one to dex by one. There's like a, I don't know, a little bit of redundancy there. I never noticed that before. Um, let's raise, I think I will raise my dexterity. Oh, stat is at max level. Interesting, okay, so we can't go higher than 10. All right then, then I guess we will start raising our strength. So that means there isn't a ton of benefit to me leveling up now. I mean, honestly, going from 5 to 10 strength doubles the duration of rock stun and gives me, like, what's the range of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Like, basically knife-throwing range to, like, my entire vision, which is pretty sweet. Um, so... Raising strength is going to be pretty awesome having it at 10. It's just was like, it felt like a, a whole tier lower than my other stats. But now that we got everything else upgraded, as much as I would like having max strength, I think experience is less of a uh, priority now. Um, so I will look to take exit sooner, not worry about experience, and just make sure my inventory and my health and everything is in a good position. That was a sweet shot. Fun with grenades here. This is a tough map. Do I use another grenade? I don't think I do. Ooh, it crit me. not get panicked though. I'm really curious to see how bad the panic on crits thing is as the player uh, when you don't have 10 composure, when you like start with four or five. All right, let's see what is all, whoops, rifleman. I was gonna say it's all on the ground here. This was just a gas mask. They just spawning on the ground now. I wonder if that means we're gonna have to deal with gas attacks soon. See the riflemen are still using the same gear. MC96, I think that was a scout. Same gear, mag 1580, same gear on the heavy, carbon 98. What was this bruiser carrying? Oh, the bruisers only have a gas mask. That's what it is. What is this? Remains of a bruiser. Why do they have a corpse? Oh, does everything have a corpse? I just never fully loot their corpses. Probably the case. If I pick up this spade and gas mask, yeah, there's a digger corpse there. Huh, so do bruisers just like punch me to death? That's interesting that all they have are gas masks. I don't know how often we're gonna have like those tough enemy scenarios, but I probably could have like approached them more intelligently. Like if I did this, Notice the only thing on the leftmost line where there was four guys vertically. If I approached from here, I would have only seen that digger and I think that was a rifleman or something. Then I move forward, I only see one more. Actually, it would have been two because there was another rifleman ahead. Then if I moved to tile four, I got one more. So I've only been fighting one to two of them at a time when there was actually four there that I ran to at once because I walked right down the middle of the corridor. And I have been moving like that a little bit, but it hasn't really paid off. But that was a scenario where it would have been uh, beneficial to do something like that. 
not that I'm like extremely hurting uh, for that. Uh, it probably could have saved me a few grenades, but those grenades were super fun. Whoops. Uh, field medic crit me. How much are levels right now? About 3000 XP. That was another one. If I moved here, I would have only seen the marksman, not the rifle. So I didn't even move quite like I said I was about to, and it would have separated those two units. So maybe I should move like that. I keep saying I will, and then I, I walk into a situation like this. Um, I'm actually just gonna gun down this marksman. So the scout and the field medic don't do a ton of damage. I should have shot the scout before the field medic because that can one shot them. I hardly took any damage there anyways. The armor we have is extremely good. Ah, see? I was able to isolate one of those riflemen by positioning carefully as I explore. Grenaded me. Uh, heavy. He's a rock on this guy. Now nah, I'm just going to shoot to them. Probably save the rocks when we have multiple enemies on screen. Those heavies can dish out a lot of damage in one turn, though. Enough damage to potentially cost me like four or five health packs to heal it. I am feeling the inventory attrition now as far as our consumables go. Um, I feel like I am using a little bit more than I'm gaining, which a lot of that is to owe to the decreased spawn rate of rocks. I don't know if it was only rocks or there's several items that decrease spawn rate. I'm definitely feeling a bit more now, so I could see... I could definitely see how you could um, you could lose this game to um, just health attrition, essentially, um, if you just slowly get your health whittled down. Um, but if you play like very carefully, it looks like that is also reasonably avoidable. Get that grenade. Or these two scouts. This is 
a helmet. Metal armor. Hold up. Defense bonus three on the metal armor. Yes, please. No dexterity penalty. It would be cool if there were like archetypes for this where like pistols aren't as impacted by like dexterity as like rifles are or something. And then like armor gave you like negative dex bonus like the gas mask does so there's like a ar archetype where you can either be like this low armored like sharpshooter or this like heavily armored kind of melee pistol guy i'm like writing my own game though <laughs> at the moment but it just makes me think of like the possibilities for uh different archetypes in a game like this Bruisers seem to just have a ton of health, too. So the marksman moved out of li my line of sight. I could throw a grenade on here to damage them while they are out of line of sight. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use a grenade for that at the moment, though. I wonder if it's intentional that the enemies are spawning in packs now, like little like squadrons. Um, I bet you that seems to be a thing. It's not like there's just like one enemy like equally scattered around and that is just like randomness and variance that is causing them to be grouped up. It seems like there are just like squads being placed around, which is pretty cool. Well, I did take 12 damage for not throwing a grenade there, so um, you could say that it would have been worth using a grenade. Now I have to use a health pack instead. some grenades off the explosives guy now that we know just how valuable those are Something I'm noticing is that, or that I have noticed, is that I haven't been using the machine gun, and I wonder what situation it would be better to use that. Basically, whenever you would spend a turn to get more damage on the following turns, I think it would require more tanky enemies being around. So maybe if there are, let's say three plus heavies, explosives, marksmen are kind of tanky now. 
field medics, bruisers especially, around. Probably when that really starts to pay off. Three shots over one probably means you're more likely to crit. It does have a lesser dex bonus, so I don't know how that affects the crit or aim bonus. Oh look, these guys are carrying G98s with scopes now. So I could drop this because it's not a, a unique item anymore. But yeah, getting more opportunities to crit means you're more likely to panic an enemy. Now that I know that the de dex is capped, I can see where this aim bonus might feel pretty good too. I kind of think I like the carbon 98 for being able to do a little extra damage. If we wanted to get like really min maxi, we could like look at the numerical breakpoints of like how many like shots it would take to kill when we're doing 14 damage versus 12 damage and see if like that actually gives you one less turn to kill or not with like where how much health enemies have. I am not going to do that. I'm going to drop the G98 for now though. Now that I know I can basically replace it whenever I'd like. Heavy. Did they miss? No, they just did no damage to me three times. This, this armor that I have is doing really well now. Whoa, I am out of health packs. Wait a second. The situation I was just describing where we could lose to health attrition is actually like happening in front of my very eyes. I didn't notice that there was metal armor on the ground here. I don't think an enemy dropped that. I think it was just there. Oops, do not need the gas mask. I think I have picked up every health. Oh, there we go. There's one health pack. I was going to say I thought I picked them all up, but maybe I, I missed at least that one. I'd be surprised if I missed any others. I think around where I'm standing now is when I started picking them up off the field medic corpses. Um, so let's use this health pack. Only seven health, not great. Yeah, I should probably use my consumables a little more aggressively now. Like a rock at this heavy. Another rock at this other heavy. Actually, can I knife you? Looks like you're one tile too far away. Wait, no, but I, I increased my strength. I don't think I could hit that guy at five strength, but I can now. Perfect. So I'll just use a throwing knife on that guy. Hey, that was a field medic. Let me make sure I grab their health pack. I'm just gonna use it right away. Ring nine. I need to get some better rolls on my health pack usage.
I'm just being very careful <laughs> with my movements right now. Being low on health packs is actually concerning. What all died here? I think there was only one field medic. Uh, I think there was at least one explosives though. What happened back here? No. Right, those were a bunch of like scouts. Two grenades, there we go. A health pack. Marksmen are nasty. Took 12 there and got panicked. I guess I should wait a few turns. Try to regain my composure and not be panicked. Um, I was about to say though, what is the most health that we've regained on one health pack? It's, I think we hit like 40 something once. Um, since I have so few. So, whoa, see? I was gonna say I should. I need to. I want to wait to make sure I don't waste anything. This one recovered, recovered at fifty-five, so it max healed me. I wonder if there's just a chance, like, like a low chance that it fully heals you no matter what. Or here's the exit, but this is an interesting map, and I'm really curious what this door is. I wonder if I could shoot the door down. No. Um, there's a field medic and a heavy. It's not too bad. I wish I could throw a throwing knife at the heavy, but I can't choose my targets for that, so I'm going to throw a rock at them instead. Okay, the field medic is in melee, which means they are useless, I think. Let's try to take out this heavy. Heavy's down. Melee those guys. Okay. Whoops. I do not need that MC-96. We have here metal armor, metal armor, bulletproof vest. Okay, I think we're good, but yeah, my inventory is not as good this time around. I guess I'm doing well on everything except for health packs. Um, let's see. There were some rifle ammo boxes over here I should grab. Drop this one I've been using and grab that one. I mean, I think I have, what, four? Oh, only three. Actually, do I have more inventory space? May as well carry another one. It's a ton of ammo, though. I'm only using it because I don't really have anything better to carry. Okay, enter another trench.
Oops. Honestly, with all these bruisers, maybe I do need that many rifle ammo boxes. Maybe the scoped rifle gives me a higher chance of critting. And that even though it does a little less damage, the chance to panic enemies is more worthwhile. Actually interested in trying it for a bit. Hard to tell if I'm critting like more or anything there. It worked there. I, I stole that guy's turn by panicking them, critting on my first shot. I'll stick to this. I think that could be more beneficial. Oops. Wait. Oh, I panicked instead of reloading. This is a scenario where I probably should have pulled out the machine gun in hindsight. I think I need to use that more proactively. I didn't want to use like any of my consumables, so I think the machine gun would have been really good there. Especially this bruiser here. He's probably going to get to me before I manage to actually kill him. So he did zero damage and then two damage to me. Which, doing melee damage through all my armor is something that none of the other guys have been able to do so far. Oh shoot, did I really go here without reloading? Not punished for it though. But they don't seem that punishing still. Let's see, do I... Where was the field medic? There was one, wasn't there? Uh, maybe I'm losing my mind. Might have just been a scout. Yeah, I must be uh, thinking of something else. There's the exit, but I'd honestly like to get... I don't know, it's hard to say. I'd like to find more loot. Maybe we just go. There's a health pack, okay. Whoa. This actually isn't too bad. As the rifleman crits me for 
14 hit points. The damage I'm taking probably completely completely offsets me finding one health pack in here. But we are committed now. Okay, well, three health packs is another story. Whoa, recovered 70. Yeah, so I think there is like a quote unquote like critical hit with the health pack. Um, I should drop something for another rifle ammo box. You know, I feel like the 14 damage from the Karba makes me more likely to one-shot things like um, the Rifleman. Although, look how often I'm critting with this thing, which does kill the Rifleman. Look at this, I... I overflowed to my very first message. Level one. Wow, that's awesome. I wonder if you can get your message log so long since it remembers all that that the game starts lagging. I've seen that in certain games that do stuff like that. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go back to the car buff. Eh, I don't know. I'm gonna drop the gun though. Um, so yeah, that rifle ammo box had one reload left in it. Just so I can carry another rifle ammo box with us, and then I'm going to the next floor. Whoa! Okay, this isn't nearly as bad as it looks. I mean, yes, I could technically take like 70 damage this turn or something, but everything in here dies in like one hit. So this is ideal uh, grenade situation. Actually, can I hit all this stuff? Heck yes, I can. All right. And now this rifleman is in melee combat, so they are effectively disabled. That was sick. I didn't even take one damage from that. Here's the exit already. I should have reloaded from uh, one of those rifle packs on the ground just so I could leave here without using any resources. Oh, look at this. I, this guy was trying to get the ambush on me, but now I have him in me melee combat where I have the advantage. This might end up being like the perfect floor. Although 
Though I keep getting like sucked into wanting to pick up this loot, which means we're gonna grab a few more things or run into more enemies as I go to pick up their loot. Like I was like, let me grab this health pack. Now I want to grab that rock. Maybe I don't need the rock. I do kind of want the grenade though. Actually, I have six grenades. I don't need another grenade. Kind of want to drop a throwing knife for a rock. Well, actually, my inventory is full. I think I would drop in another throwing knife for another rock, though. Is it worth it for that rock, though? Probably, because that's on the edge of the map, so the chances of me running into more enemies is a bit lower. Okay. Drop this rifle ammo box for this one, and we'll get off this floor. If you compare what we looked like when we entered this floor to when we left, like this is just like perfect. We just like restocked here. All right, another trench. There's an O over there. It's probably not an ogre. I wonder what it is. An officer. Check this out. I'm gonna move here. So I'm forced these guys into melee where they are useless. And then I'm gonna shoot down this officer. Who hasn't attacked me yet, I don't know what they do. They shot me, did no damage. I have a lot of health. Wait, that's the exit right there already? We can just leave this floor immediately again. The officer crit me. Just have pistols and a ton of health. Now by essentially skipping two floors, we might be missing out on like new weapons or armor types, stuff like that that we haven't seen before. But I think I'm just gonna jump onto the next floor here. Ooh, you approach your final nightmare. If that's not foreboding, I don't know what is. Um, this is level 30, which would imply that's the final level of chapter three. I'm gonna drop a rifle ammo box for this rock. I imagine that is fire. The Flamer. Um, well, I have so many rocks. Put on our mag 1580. And unload into this guy. Okay, the flamer's dead.
Um, I just got a Steam achievement for completing chapter three. Um, okay, that was interesting. I don't know what the... I was probably supposed to take one action to trigger this, but I opened my inventory instead. Um, which is a shame. I wanted to pick up the flamer that they dropped. Uh, but let's see. After what must be one of the most daunting battles you have ever faced, you exit the area. You wander through an, em uh, uh, you wander through an empty trench filled with the bodies of men defeated in battle. Some of them are your men, some are the enemies, you can hardly tell. What you know is that this trench is now under your control and all the sacrifices made to take and defend this lie before you. Th that is your victory. Thank you for playing Enemy Trench. Exiting this level will return you to the main menu. Uh, area level 31. We're in a trench. Walk through the remains. Uh, I guess that's GG. Fallen. It's like the victory lap level. This game was super fun and a pleasant surprise. Heck yeah, that was awesome. Um, Yeah, this was like really cool. I liked Enemy Trench a lot, um, and it's really just cool to play in such like a unique setting and like combat style and kind of game like this for a traditional roguelike. I had a blast with it. Um, I think this game could be like absolutely incredible with just some like good balance tweaks and different stuff. I don't know how much uh, more time like the dev really wants to put into it, so I don't think it needs any of that. Um, it's a two dollar game on Steam. Like for what it is, it's it's fantastic. Uh, I think one thing I would say is the the bosses were a little underwhelming with me just throwing rocks at them and stuff. Um, they should maybe be immune to to like rocks and maybe even composure in general or something since they're bosses. But this game was sweet, uh, very very cool. Um, I enjoyed my time with Enemy Trench here a lot. I will be keeping my eye on it and maybe seeing if there are any updates coming at any point because there was the one a couple days ago that was really great. And we will revisit this at some point probably and check out uh, one of the other classes or like a different like play style. Even if it's like not optimal, maybe we do like a melee class or something. I think it could be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I think uh, to some, some of like the comments I had on it before like I've talked about this stuff before but um, I feel like uh, like a, a hard mode with like less um, consumables would be really cool I think also I could see this game being a lot of fun with like a, a shortened version where each chapter is like only five levels or something because um, it did feel a little long at, at times but I think it would feel a lot shorter um, if I had like less consumables because it was just that, like, I felt like I kind of solved, like, the levels at one point. Um, where through, like, use of consumables and um, just, like, uh, sound strategies. I uh, just meant we were kind of going through the motions on a lot of levels. And when there's, like, ten levels in each chapter, I felt like about half of them we were just kind of uh, just, just going through um, without having to, like, think a whole lot. Um, but also that big patch the other day did cut reduce the number of consumables of like rocks and stuff so if i started a new game right now it might feel a lot different in that regard anyways um but enough with the criticisms because i i think this game is excellent um that's just me i like to talk about game design and stuff like that um so it's not to knock on the game at all i, just, I think the game was great and i had a really good time with it and i'm glad we got to the end here i'll play it again at some point curious to hear how other people have been doing with it if anyone else has been playing um, if anyone's picked it up, because this is a really unique and fun game in the traditional roguelike space. Uh, but that is really all I have here to say for now, so I am going to leave this here. Uh, do check out my uh, links in the description below. You can find my Patreon if you want to show some support for me and my work here. That is over at patreon.com slash tonehack. You can also find my Discord down there. 
if you want to come and hang out with me and the rest of the Discord community there, uh, you can talk about Enemy Trench and other good stuff and always fun conversations going on there. Um, but otherwise, that is it for now. Uh, if you're new to my channel, just if this series was the first thing you saw here, um, I do a lot of uh, roguelike games and kind of strategic games here. Um, so if you look into the like archives of this channel, you'll find a lot of stuff like this playthrough and you'll be seeing more um, coming up as well. Um, I often will play through a game and then cycle to another game and do stuff like that. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you guys for joining me for this journey through the trenches of the enemies here. And I will uh, see you guys next time. Take it easy, everyone.